Hi everybody, welcome back to the I'm Ready Test Kitchen. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make eggnog snickerdoodles. These have become one of my like absolute favorite holiday treats. I discovered eggnog actually working at a coffee shop and before I worked there I was like, gross, eggnog, like that doesn't sound good. And they brought it in for the holidays, I gave it a try and I instantly fell in love. So when I realized, hey, we have eggnog extract, I just had to make a recipe with it and what better than snickerdoodles. So let's get to making these cookies. So the first step in this recipe is to cream the butter and the sugar together. This takes about four to five minutes. So just put it in your mixer or if you do not have a stand mixer, just um, use your hand mixer. Our butter is nice and creamed now, so I will just lower our mixer, scrape down the sides, and then we will be adding in our eggnog extract, vanilla, and our eggs. So you just need two eggs for this recipe. And this is just two teaspoons of our eggnog extract. I pre-measured it out in here so it would be easier to incorporate into the batter because it is a little bit of a thicker extract. And now I'm just going to do one teaspoon of our Madagascar bourbon vanilla extract. This is like our absolute staple vanilla. It contains no alcohol like many of our other extracts, including our eggnog and it's super potent, easy to use, and great in pretty much any baking recipe, ice cream, anything you make that's sweet, even some savory. All right, now we're just going to mix this up again. Our butter and eggs are nice and mixed now, so I'm just going to combine some of our dry ingredients together. Here is just all-purpose flour, we have salt, we have baking soda, and some cream of tartar. So I'm just gonna gently mix this together, and then we will slowly add it into our wet ingredients. So have fun with this recipe. You're gonna make a mess with flour. I mean, it, it always tends to happen. So before I put this in with our wet ingredients, I'm just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl one more time and just slowly add in your flour and other ingredients, just slowly in probably about three increments. And start on low because you, if you start any higher than that, you're gonna have a big dust storm of flour. Our dough is nice and mixed together now. I'm just going to take everything off of our mixer and we will be putting this onto our sheet pan. So let's make sure we get everything, all of this delicious eggnog goodness off of our paddle. Because I'm telling you, you are not gonna want to waste any of this dough. It is so good. I made this a few times here while I was testing it and all of my coworkers just absolutely went bananas over it. And then I took some home and same thing, my boyfriend went crazy for it, shared it with some friends, they were the same way. They were like, can you have, can we have some more of those cookies? Yeah, absolutely. Eat as many as you want, because I for sure do not need a dozen cookies to devour at home, it's dangerous. All right. And we're just gonna scrape down the side of the bowl here. So now it is the last important step here. We're going to scoop our dough onto our sheet pan. You'll want to use about a tablespoon or if you have one of these small uh, dough scoops, that works perfect as well.
Now we're going to give these their uh, extra sugary snickerdoodle topping. Instead of the typical granulated sugar that you see on snickerdoodles, I'm using brown sugar. I feel like it's a little bit more of a warmer flavor. It's great for the holidays. It's great for the winter. And we're just gonna take that, mix it with some cinnamon, and then sprinkle it on top. This is now all mixed together. I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of each of these. If you want more of like a round fluffy cookie, you can leave these as is and bake them like that. If you want them a little flatter, you can just, after you sprinkle, press down on each of the cookies and then pop them in the oven. I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a flatter cookie, so I'm gonna push them down a little bit. Give this guy a little bit more sugar. I'm just going to pop these in the oven now at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Time may vary depending on your oven, so check around eight and take them out then or leave them in longer if need be. My eggnog snickerdoodles are all done. I pulled them out of the oven around 13 minutes and let them cool on the sheet pan for about five minutes. Transfer them here to cool the rest of the way. But I personally think the best time to eat a cookie is when it's warm out of the oven, still extra gooey. So I'm gonna give one of these a try. I'm gonna go for this one because it looks really good. Oh my gosh, as you can see, the inside of it is still nice and fluffy. The outside's a little bit crisp, but making for like an absolutely perfect cookie. Mmm. Phenomenal. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but these are like, hands down, going to be my favorite holiday cookie to make. I can't wait to make it for my family this year. And I hope you make it for your family as well. They're going to love it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and you give it a try in your own kitchen. If you did enjoy this, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new recipe. You can also find us on social media at Amoretti on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.